Any parents here? Parents? Yes. Yes. I am not a parent, and that's why I'm on time and my shirt is clean. But <laughs> it seems to me that parenting is getting more and more challenging. Would you agree with me? Yes. Check out the survey I just read. It says the average age kids get their first cell phone is six years old. That's cra One of those kids, by the way, is on Tinder. I saw <laughs> him swiping to the right. They don't even know they're in the same room. That is amazing. And how many of you have kids that are actually begging you for a phone right now? Yeah, everybody. Most parents won't, and uh, I mean, because really, why give a six-year-old a phone? But here's the thing, one of you will, and you're the problem. <laughs> right? It's that one person. But, but, the only phone I was allowed to have when I was a kid was a tin can with a string. <laughs> and that was just so I could get in touch with my imaginary friend, Randall. <laughs> and he was always too busy to play with me. <laughs> well, look at me now, Randall. How many Emmys do you have? To be fair, I'm sure previous generations looked at kids growing up and thought the same thing. Look at these kids with their fancy shoes and their flushing toilets, you know? <laughs> I see how it starts, you know? You're at a restaurant with your toddler and there's a lot of kicking and screaming and that's because the waiter's taking too long to bring the en endless uh, salad and the breadsticks. But then your kid starts acting up, so you hand the kid a $2 rattle. Uh, but then her eyes are fixed on your $600 iPhone. <laughs> So you let her have it, and you get through dinner, enjoying your dinner, and the entire restaurant gets to hear let it go 40 billion times. <laughs> My parents handed me a steak knife and a cigarette, and I sat there quiet for hours. <laughs> I was <just> flip it. <laughs> My eye! <laughs> uh. It's not just the phone, because once they get the phone, they need the apps. Kids don't need apps, they need naps. Preach! <laughs> I mean, well, one app they should have is Heads Up, because it's educational and social, and they can learn to read. And by the way, they also have Heads Up, pic heads up Pictures now. And I'm sure you want your kids to, they, they should have the world. You love your kids, you want to spoil them, and especially if you can afford it. But I saw something over the weekend, and I, I don't know, I just think this is going too far. <laughs> So to all you kids out there, uh, please put down your phones because it's time for all of us to dance.